Okay, in this video, I'm going to set up MySQL replication on CentOS 7. And in here, I'm going to set up MySQL master slave replication. So for that, I have created two virtual machines and I have named them as MasterDB and SlaveDB. And this is the host entry. So as this is the master slave replication, uh, whatever data we write on the master server, it is going to replicate on the slave and it is not going to be vice versa. Okay, so now I will log into my machines. So the very first thing we need to do is install the MySQL server and in CentOS 7 it is called MariaDB which is basically a fork of MySQL. So let's install uh, MariaDB on both of our machines. So that's done. Uh, I will quit out of my slave. Okay, let's start and enable the MariaDB service. Let's check the port. By default, the port is 3306. Okay, that's running. Now we need to set the root password. So uh, let's use MySQL secure installation. Enter. Yes, set the root password. Enter, enter, done. Okay, so now I can log in uh, using the root user and providing the password. Uh, if I don't want to use the password in my root home directory, I can create a hidden file named my.cnf username and the password in my case that's root save and quit and now I can log in just using my SQL command okay so in order to test our application uh, we need to first have a database to work with so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some databases and I'm going to create some tables and let's do that. So let's say DB1 and DB2. Okay. Show databases. So we have created DB1 and DB2 and these are the default database. Okay. Let's create some tables. Uh, let's say country and name okay let's create a table for DB2 as well uh, let's say city name okay so use db1 show tables so now we have one table and we don't have any data inside that table so let's insert some values okay india UK um, let's say China um, now if I do select star from country so now we have this values India UK and China so we have created a database to work with so let's go ahead and take a dump of this database and let's copy that to our slave so I'm gonna first log the table so Plus tables with read lock. Okay. MySQL dump db1. 
uh, I'm just gonna use db1 for this demo so I'm just gonna take a dump of db1.sql okay we have the SQL file let's copy that to our slave so I have updated my host entry so what I can do is db1.sql and slave db slash root okay that's done let's log in back unlock the tables okay let's quit now and let's go to the replication configuration part the first thing you have to do is go inside etc my.cnf which is the main configuration file of mariadb in here under mysql d tag you need to mention the server id and i'm also going to mention log bin and i'm going to name that log file as mysql bin so these are the two options that I'm going to use. Uh, if you want to see more options, let me just save and quit. So if you go to this directory, user, share and mysql. So you see this my small.cnf, my medium.cnf. So if you take a look at this, uh, my small.cnf. So you have all these options to use. So I'm just using a server ID and log bin that's it so i've used server id as one and i've mentioned my log bin so the server id of the master should be always lesser than the slave so what i might mean by that is uh, if your master has a server id of one then your slave can have any other value than one uh, which is greater than one okay so let's save and quit let's restart the service Maria DB. Okay, that's done. Let's log back into our database and let's see show master status. Cool. So now we have the bin file and we have the position which is 245. Um, now we need to enable the replication. So let's do that. Grant replication. slave on 2 and there is a system user called REPL and after that you need to mention the IP address of your slave so in my case I can use the host name but I prefer using IP address so 51 is the IP address of my slave and let's set the password I'm setting the password as REPL okay flush privileges let's see show master status so you see the position has been moved so we have to basically now restart the service okay mysql minus e show master status Cool. so position is back to normal and we have the bin file so that's it on the master side let's go to our slave so we have this db1.sql file and we have installed the mariadb let's start and enable the service Okay. Um, let's create the my.cnf file for easy access. Okay. We can log in. Cool. So now we have this SQL file. So first we have to create a database and we have to restore this SQL file. So let's do that. MySQL minus E create database. Let's say DB1. Show 
show databases so now we have this db1 let's reshow the sql file so mysql the name of the database and restore this file okay mysql minus c so if i now do a select query uh, country i should be able to see the data cool so now i have the data so let's go to our etc my.cna first and on the client we only need to mention as you know the server id too and i will also specify one more option basically which will tell that replicate all the tables inside the database so replicate while do table equals the name of the database and percentage okay save and quit let's try to restart the service okay that's done let's check the status that's up and running cool now we need to log into our mysql so now we need to tell slave that who is the master what is the master ip address and what is the username what is the password and we need to pass this information as well so that it starts synchronizing from this uh, file and from this position so let's do that change master to master underscore host I will mention the IP address which is 51 uh, sorry 41 master underscore user we have mentioned the REPL user password is REPL master log file and we need to give this file and master log position which is 245 so I hope that will work and we have not mentioned the port number because we have not changed the port number it is using the default port number so that's fine okay enter cool let's start the slave okay so now i can check the status using show slave status and that's giving me a lot of information so i have to use backslash capital g and there you go and in here the parameter you want to monitor is this parameter seconds behind master so in here you need to look look for this parameter which is seconds behind master you need to see that this value is zero uh, as there is no replication so it's zero it's fine but if you see uh, something like null which is like literally written n u double l null that means there is some misconfiguration on your uh, setup so you have to look for that and this parameter is basically tells that how much of a lag is there between your master and the slave so it basically shows you the synchronization difference okay and that's the master host that's the username that's the bin file and that's the tables cool now we can test our changes uh, our setup so what i'm going to do is let's do mysql minus a select star from db1.country So we have these data so let's try to insert some data on our master and let's see if that replicates so mysql i will log in here insert into db1.country values let's say usa um, romania let's do the select query boom we have the data so that's working so we have successfully configured our replication so if you go and see full process list um, let me maximize this so you see this waiting for master to send event the command is connect and it is using a thread 
a dump thread basically uh, used by a system user cool on our master show process list and you see that slave tv.example.com has uh, used this command which is bin lock dump and it has sent all the bin lock to the slave okay cool so i guess that's all i wanted to show you so i hope you guys found this video useful um, you can definitely play around with those uh, my.cnf file and see what works for you and according to your environment and your needs um, anyway so that's all i wanted to show you see you guys in the next video take care bye bye